So hello, Miss Jacqueline Gates. Hello. I'm excited. I'm so excited for you. So I have a question for you, which is, what would you do with an extra hundred grand right now? An extra hundred grand right now, I would go on a Cunard cruise transatlantic awesome. because I want, I've always wanted to. And it's like, to me, the epitome of luxurious travel. So that's what I would do. And then I would probably spend the rest on something. I don't know. If I had to spend it all, it would be different. But the things that I want, it would be upgradings of and luxuriousness and delicious, the savoring of life. That's what I would do. Beautiful. Awesome. And when I ask that question, is your answer any different today than it would have been before you came through the program? Actually, yes. Strangely. How so, How <laughs> so would it be different? How? Because I think before the program, I would have gone into, oh my God, I might not never ever get another batch of money like this and I should screw it away for rainy days and other such scarcity minded things. And what struck me now is that I just took it as, well, this is, you know, it's an abundant universe and here's my extra slice. Thank you very much. I'm going to savor it. And savoring it is um, savoring my money and savoring my relationship with my money has been a big um, shift because, you know, I, I was raised where money doesn't grow on trees, Jacqueline. So, so I've had to undo a lot and then also reinstall, you know, some better software. And that's really what I feel I've done. So fantastic. So you can totally see and feel the shifts in your own thinking, the way you feel about money, mm -hmm. knowing, yeah. knowing that it literally comes to you and we get to enjoy this tool. So levels up anxiety around money which are so common for people seem to yeah and I hadn't realized just how deep that shift mm -hmm. until you asked I hadn't realized because you did we didn't prepare this so I was like okay but <laughs> I hadn't realized just how deep that shift was as but like this was not something that I had to cling to I could spread it out in the world yes know, because it's going to come back yes absolutely because, <laughs> because absolutely. you've got an incredibly creative genius mind that will figure out ways to have it come back over and over mm -hmm. again and many more times that thank you very much and if i'm free to, to you know to show myself this level of joy in my life then well i can consider how more can come in mm -hmm. well, yeah absolutely and it and it just invites more in yeah awesome so, so that's so beautiful. So that's in your that's in your personal life and in your own relationship with money, with spending and receiving. Mm -hmm. you know, a question I have is, you know, you're an outstanding coach. How do you feel that this pro program for prosperity has changed the way you do business or the way that you? How has it impacted that area of your life? Another, I think again, it's removed the graspiness, the scarcity. It's like um, when you're building a practice, uh, you kind of hang your banner out and say, please hire me. Here's what I can do for you, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I think what this has done is the, the, squirreliness about pricing and getting money in exchange for the work I do here's what I know now is that I can never be paid what I'm worth which drives me nuts in the in the sort of marketing yeah. space. pay what you're worth you can't every human is complete and unique and priceless like literally priceless and the work we do the work I do I know transforms the, the shifts that I help my clients do, that has a generational change, a generational shift, right? So how do you price that? You can't price that. Yeah. So now what I know is that I, place, I have placed my prices at a point where it's delicious for me to show up in exchange for that. 
And then also the commitment that my clients make makes it delicious for them to show up for the commitment that they've made via this this money, right? And it's it is a and I don't I don't hold up my banner and say hire me. I hold up my banner and say you're damn lucky if you get in. That's it. Which is, <laughs> awesome. which is also different. So, yes, what a difference. And that's because of the scarcity graspiness thing, right? Um, mm-hmm. It just, it's not there. And so then it clears the air for you to focus on the work you do, the value of the work you do, the, um, the way you do it differently to what anybody else is and what that commitment of money means I mean, you know what it means to your clients. They pay you, and often it's a stretch, which is good because you're there for the stretch. Um, so whereas before I would lower my prices and try and make it an easy yes, mm. right, which is there are there's portions of my marketing that is that. But when somebody wants to up-level, the up-leveling starts at that commitment to the stretch, and this, the, the money is an affirmation of it. So, excellent. Yeah. And you've also gotten to a much more generous flow of business. So we just say, because with this energetic shift, because of the way you're moving in your work, things are, are moving powerfully in the right direction, you could say. Huge. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And it's not such sludge wading. I call it swamp wading. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. not that, oh, Under you know, the mud. <laughs> now it's really feeling like, okay, way to next. We're just Ooh. going to go there. And it's the going you know, in. Like, whee! Oh, let's just, let, yeah, just, let's just head over there and see if we like the view, you know? Awesome. <laughs> fantastic. I love that. Okay. So as a way for, because we, we're talking about finances, we're talking about money, of course. This is Program for Prosperity. So this is the, all, the entirety of our lives, right? Mm-hmm. So how would you say that your or has your life, I should say, shifted in ways that you didn't really expect due to this work. So outside of money, which is always mm-hmm. like, oh, I can, how, how do you know it's been successful? Oh, because the bank account actually shows me so. That's a pretty mm-hmm. good return on investment, right? You can actually go yes, dollars yeah. for dollars. But the, uh, other parts of your life, can you, can you share anything that, in that respect? Well, I don't, um, I don't compromise as much now um, on what I want, you know, because um, I mean, I'm the way you teach us to um, be in touch with our money, the income and stuff. There's so much room for play and savoring and stuff that that it's really. What I'm finding delicious is that I can, like I just bought a dining room table for us, which was, you know how when you search for something and then you adjust the filter and it says lowest price first? I didn't do that. Yay! I didn't have to do that. But you know, it was, but what was so interesting is that I didn't even think to do that. That's I just amazing. went for, mm. I want glamour, I want sculptural, I want something that looks non-traditional. And I could go after what I wanted and I knew I would make the money thing work. Yeah, I found one that was ten and a half thousand dollars and it's like, maybe, you know, <laughs> it's not, have to make there's that a cruise I would rather go on yeah. for that. But I also didn't do that filtering thing. That's I think it is, I think it's about what I think, what I know, I am capable of attracting, capable of managing. I think a lot of the time when you haven't had a steady stream of income, you doubt you'll be able to handle it. And this subverts that because you get the way to handle it. And when you get good at handling money, you get more. And when you get more, you'll get even better at it. So (laughs) I know. Yay. So it's really, it is this idea of capacity for the, the good things of life. Um, and then also the, the knowledge of um, not having to make do as some kind of badge of mm. honor, yes. right? Yeah. You know, um, and that's really something I've had to put down from my mom 
because making do was a badge of honor. That was their experience. That was the reality. We forget that we don't have to live in that reality um, or keep it going, which is what we do when we keep investing, right? We keep actually making we keep that reality reality whereas we can move forward we have so much available to us if we just allow ourselves to have it and that's the key can I allow myself to have the very best of what I want and uh yeah so that's been that's been the the difference how incredibly beautiful I am so grateful to have heard all of these things and more to come but sincerely like thank you thank you thank you uh thank you it's it's been so so good um and and i came for a, like a money system and came ended up with a whole life in exactly right system. and you know it's just it's beautiful for me because i'm like well i know this is how i did it mm-hmm. and i know all the feelings that i hear expressed and the, or, or the releasing of the old feelings and how it feels walking. I, I get that. I embody that. And to know that somebody can come through and take away exactly what I hope to impart. It just gives me the most incredible. I'm just, I'm literally just exploding with love right now. So thank you. It, <laughs> thank you. Uh, it's so good. It is, it is a magical experience really in, in something that is intrinsically, um, people get wonky around and it's not, yeah. that's not how it is. It's very, very cool. So deliriously happy success. Can we say yes to deliriously happy success? We can. Oh, absolutely. Sumptuousness for everyone. Beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Thank you.